Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Backyard Bushcraft. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the possum mentality, which is something Dave Canterbury talks about a lot. And it's basically taking advantage of a resource while it's there because it might not be there tomorrow or it might not be there at your destination where you're going to. And today we're going to talk about water collection. So here, here we have melting snow. And what I have down here is a jerky bag that I keep, uh, that I use a stick to hold open and it's collecting water. So you're probably wondering why am I worried about water collection at home or in the winter time. There's going to be snow on the ground for the next couple months. Water won't be that much of an issue. But what I'm trying to do here is show you a trick that you can use in a survival situation and how you can utilize uh, garbage or trash that you might throw away. So I'm using a jerky bag to collect water and uh, you can use an MRE bag. Corporal's Corner did that in one of his videos or I'm pretty sure one of those uh, Th those mountain house uh, hike, uh, hiking meals bags would work. Any good strong plastic bag that can support its own weight where the weight of the water won't tip it over will work. And also, this doesn't just work in, in winter. This can work in the rain when you're camping or uh, if you're ever in a survival situation in the rain, you can use uh, even a tin can or anything to catch water running off your tarp, running off your tent to collect more water. If your canteen's already full, you still want to utilize that resource of rain runoff when you have it or melting snow when you have that resource. Melting snow is not the most efficient way of collecting water because snow is 90% air, 10% water. So you keep ha you have to keep refilling your uh, container where you're, where you're uh, collecting, where you're melting your snow in and here the sun's doing it for you. And you can do both. You can use your, your, uh, your, uh, your steel water bottle or a steel cup or your steel container or whatever you have to melt snow on the fire. And you can also have something like this set up to collect rain, to collect melting snow while the sun is melting it for you or collect rainwater while it's raining. All right, it's been like, I don't know, an hour. It's not a quick process, but I got almost a bag full of water. So we're gonna grab it and try to do this one-handed. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, and I have a rock down there to keep the wind from blowing it all over the all over the place. And I don't know if you can see that, but that water bottle is almost full. I think it's over three quarter, three quarter, maybe a little bit more. At the house, this is our fire pit area at the house where we have fires in the summer, and as you can see in the winter. And what me and my dad have been doing is just uh, utilizing snow and hard snow to make a kind of like a, a snow gazebo. It's not going to be like a shelter because we're probably not going to put a roof on it. But it is a nice little windbreak and it keeps the heat from, from it keeps the heat where we want it. From here we're going to take our water and put it in on our fire. I think that's, yeah, should be stable enough. This whole side of the property is full of spruce. Now we're gonna embrace the possum mentality and harvest some. Now because I love things that are multi-purpose, I took the same bag, there's the hole, and I filled it up with uh, spruce boughs with spruce tips 
now I can take this back to my camp or back to my fire and we can make tea with it so I saw this little tea diffuser at the dollar store and I thought it was pretty cool because I can just clip it onto the side of my cup and well I might have to put put one hand down the phone down but I can start filling it with uh, uh, spruce tips and then pour the hot water in here this is hard to do with uh, only two hands so I'll show you what that looks like now that we've got a boil it's been boiling for I don't know two minutes I'm not sure two and a half I'm not sure it's been quite three but I think it's been boiling long enough so if there was contaminants like bird poop or whatever in that melting snow I'm confident that whatever bacteria was in there is now dead now we're going to take it off the fire man I really miss my tripod All right, now I'm gonna let that steep for a few minutes. All right, while we're waiting for our tea to steep, let's talk about this bag. You guys don't wanna know how many of these I go through in a week. Jerky. You don't wanna know how many are lying on the floorboard of my truck right now. There's a lot. Yesterday, I was uh, driving around, I was in the sandy lands, and I was uh, waiting for uh, Dimitri to show up and I saw a birch tree beside me on the trail and I saw an empty jerky bag beside me on the floorboard so I picked up the jerky bag filled it with uh, birch bark as I was doing that I remember that Corporal's Corner did a demonstration where he collected water from an MRE sleeve from an MRE bag and I figured this is just about the same thing it's pretty sturdy I can do this so I thought so I made a video of doing this today now I still have plenty of spruce tips left to make tea if I was in a survival situation I could throw these in my pack and if I don't get rescued or found tomorrow I got dude I got like a week's worth of tea right here in this bag I can also take it out put it somewhere else and reuse this for uh, collecting more water now, you guys saw me use this fish mount spreader to uh, get my uh, canteen, my water bottle, off the fire. Now, if somebody wants to give me a hard time for doing that because there's like lead Chinese paint on, on the fish, on the mount spreader, save your breath, I don't care. I didn't have that on there boiling with the water. After it was, uh, after the water was boiling, I put it in, pulled it out, Put it down took it back out for those of you who do care uh amazon has stainless steel ones but those ones are 15 bucks and the one i'm using is two bucks and i can get it at cabela's or anywhere else Ooh, hot this tin cup is not very well insulated it's very hot you know all right, I'm losing daylight, so let's go ahead and close up this video. Um, I hope you guys learned something today. I sure did. Yesterday, I saw that the, the jerky bags that I have, they were sturdy, plastic. They won't collapse and fall over. If uh, They can support the weight of the water. A good, strong plastic bag. So I figured I can do the same thing. I tried it out, and it works. And, uh, yeah so i hope you guys learned something and i hope this is another trick you can put in your arsenal and how to utilize more of the resources you have so survival is all about utilizing resources that are readily available 
utilizing resources that are read, readily available to you. English is hard. Also, you can uh, find Bushcraft Jerry on Instagram, and you can also find me on Facebook, Bushcraft Jerry. And I'm trying to do more. Uh, I'm trying to take the videos that I do and write a short article about it, and we'll, I'll be posting that on Facebook. So be sure to uh, like Bushcraft Jerry on Facebook. It won't be like a transcript of the video. It'll just be the general idea of what the video is. And I'll try to post a short article to Facebook. A little bit of a write-up. So you guys have that, that to look forward so to. So that brings this episode of Backyard Bushcraft to an end. And uh, again, what I'm trying to showcase with the series is you don't have to go all out, all out into the backwoods drive two hours in the middle of nowhere to trap to practice bushcraft to practice survival skills i attested a survival theory that i had in my own backyard and it works if it works here it'll work in the outback so if if you're new if you're new to the channel i appreciate i, I appreciate you watching if you like the concept of backyard bushcraft i have uh two other videos titled in in this series Go check those out and if you like those please subscribe and we'll have more coming for sure all of you guys who keep coming back and watching again and again and again i appreciate you guys thank you so much for supporting me um again thank you for watching